Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I am going to be doing the 40 questions. I was nominated, and I will go ahead and put um, who I'm going to nominate below, and you can look at that later. Um, I've changed the questions a little bit, mostly because I don't generally follow the rules about things, and some of them were perhaps not something I would like to answer. So, with no further ado, the 40 questions. All right, so to start it off, blue cheese, yes or no? Absolutely. Uh, pretty much anything cheese, all things cheese. Um, Number two, Coke or Pepsi? Definitely Coke. Grew up in a Pepsi household, so I'm not really sure how that happened, but yes, Coke. Um, this is where I've started changing things. Uh, are you a cat person or a dog person? Um, both. Mostly cat, but as you have seen in the other videos, I definitely have pugs, which if you've ever had pugs, you would probably know they don't count too much as dogs. Um, I'm also the the liquor thing, not really into that, uh, but beer or wine? Wine. Not a beer person at all. Um, hot dog or cheeseburger? Um, very specifically, chili cheese dogs. I'd fight you for a chili cheese dog. Love those. The right ones. You know, they gotta be good ones. Uh, favorite food? Um, used to play this game in college, uh, Desert Island Lists, and my Desert Island food has always been nachos. If you were stuck eating one thing for the rest of your life, what would you eat? Proper nachos, not just tortillas and cheese, but you know, with all the fixings. 100 push-ups. No, never. Not when I was 10, not when I was 20. No. Mm-mm. Never. Uh, spring or summer? Or which, which, no, not spring or summer. Spring or summer is the answer. The question is, what is your favorite season? Um, I love that you can be outside in spring and summer and not be miserable. At least I can. I'm not one of those people that's bothered by heat. So definitely spring or summer, because I can do all of my uh, next question, which is, what is your favorite hobby? And that would be gardening. Um, oh, what do you drink in the morning? Oftentimes, I know a lot of people said coffee or tea. Um, as I've become older, I can't really drink coffee. Uh, oddly enough, my morning beverage of choice currently is Monster Drink. Um, currently, it is ultra white. Doesn't taste quite as chemically and gets the job done. Uh, nickname? Not really. Um, I think there's been some nicknames here and there, you know, high school, grade school, that kind of thing, but nothing that really stuck with me for my whole life. Uh, glasses? Yes. I went to the trouble of even getting um, Lasix, and although now I can see far away, now I can't see close up, so back to the glasses. Um... Oh, tattoos. No tattoos. Um, but I do have my ears pierced. Uh, let's see. Pet, uh, one of the things was phobia. I don't really have a phobia, but I do have a pet peeve of sorts. I don't like reality TV. Um, you know, like The Bachelor and all that business. It just drives me nuts. I have absolutely no idea why anybody watches that stuff. Uh, so, pet peeve. That's the best I can do for you. Um, candy. Very specifically, Reese's peanut butter eggs. I know that uh, AV had said um, peanut butter cups, but I believe that the ratio of chocolate to peanut butter in the Easter um, eggs is superior to any other shape that they've come up with. Um, let's see. Next one was, do you believe in ghosts? Um, ish. I mean, there's things that I've experienced. I, I currently live in a 200-year-old house and uh, some weird stuff happens at times that I 
as a person of science cannot explain, so I'm not going to give up on the idea of there being ghosts or, I don't know, whatever. Let's see. Rain or snow? Absolutely snow. Not a big fan. Um, but then again, I live up in the um, Midwest, and so um, as an adult, you have to drive in it, which is not fun. So, yeah, definitely I prefer rain. Onion rings or french fries? Eh, it's kind of hard. Um, I really like onion rings, but then again, I like chili cheese fries to go with my chili cheese dog. You know how it is. Um, but I can't have either one anymore because it gives me acid reflux. But if I was going to chance having acid reflux, I would do it with the onion rings. Uh, how old are you? Well, let's be a little less specific about that. I am Gen X. So, uh, you want to Google what Generation X age range is? That's me. Uh, do you have children? Yes. Favorite color? Red. Uh, can I sing? I don't really anymore. It's kind of an age thing, you know. Um, I will sing with the radio. People don't often, uh, if ever, have told me to shut up. Uh, I did sing in high school. I was in the choir. So, can sing. Don't generally. Whistle? Yes, but again, don't really have much of a reason to. Where was I born? Uh, I was born in the Midwest. I'm still in the Midwest. Um, let's see. Siblings, yes. Multiple siblings. Can I cook? Yes, that is another one of my hobbies. Um, I have a job where I, or I've always had jobs where I meet people from different countries, and I don't know if it started out as a hobby or people just fed me things that were from their native cultures, and then I like to try and replicate it or see if I can make it as well. So, I love to cook. Uh, can I swim? Yes. Grew up with a pool. Um, I wasn't on a swim team or anything, but I did have my own pool. Not afraid to swim, you know, out there. Um, enjoy snorkeling, that sort of thing. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to, rep again, change out some of the questions. Um, one, because I was kind of meh on the answer. So instead of um, one question, I am now going to say Star Wars or Star Trek, and I'm going to say Star Trek. Are you a city or nature person? Well, I mean, each has its benefits. I mean, there's, you know, you can't go to the theater in the country. But then again, if I had to choose between having to deal with living in the city or living out in the country, I'm living out in the country for sure. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm substituting another question about friends to, are you a people person or a loner? I'm more of a loner. So, let's just say that one question doesn't come up a whole bunch. Um, broken bone, yes. Um, as you can tell, I'm not too careful with my fingers. I'm also not very careful with my toes. I have broken my fingers, my hand, and my toes. Not the whole foot, but, yeah. Multiple times. Uh, let's see, how many TVs? I've got two TVs. Now, back before I was an empty nester, um, that was probably a much bigger number, but currently two. Worst pain? Yeah, there's a sciatic nerve thing. And, I mean, that'll just flat out buckle your knees out from underneath of you. Um, it's, it's bad enough that you don't actually, you're not in control anymore. So I'm going to call that worse. Do a dance, yes. Again, more likely to happen in my 20s and 30s, but, you know, if no one's looking. But if I'm dancing and no one can see, am I really dancing? Hmm. Yes, I am. Uh, let's see, am I an inside or an outside person, which I'm substituting for the camping or fishing? Um, yeah. uh, I will fish, but I'm not camping, no. Um, Mm -mm. 
glamping possibly, but I would like to have a um, hotel with uh, room service, uh, no bugs and eating things off a of wood stick, forget that, nope. I'm an outside person for, I like to be out in nature, I like to hike, I like to dig in the dirt. Uh, let's see, biggest downfall, uh, my eyebrows. I don't, um, without regard to me trying to be politically correct or anything else, whatever I'm thinking, my eyebrows are probably going to tell people what I'm thinking, so it doesn't do me any good to try and, you know, soft pedal any sort of a, a topic, because my eyebrows will tell me if I think that something stupid is happening, or if I don't like somebody, or, you know, fill in all of the blanks there. My eyebrows get me in a lot of trouble. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. I think I've also substituted the shower question. To me, that's a little creepy. You don't need to know that. Um, so I've substituted that to, if you're going to take a vacation, are you going to drive or fly? And I will fly. Uh, I get bored driving. I live in the Midwest, so as a general rule, if I'm going to drive someplace, I've probably got almost 10 hours of corn, beans, corn, beans, corn, beans. And, you know, maybe if you live someplace cool where you can see mountains or whatever, but if I'm going anyplace, I've got at least 10 hours of corns and beans to look at um, before I can get anywhere cool. So, I'm flying. Um, let's see. And am I weird? Obviously. I have a worm channel on YouTube. I think almost by definition, that is a yes. And I will write the nominations down below, uh, simply because by the time I get this video put back together and um, posted, those people might have already done this. And you know, let's not be redundant. We wanna we wanna know everybody's business, not just you know the same thing. So that is my 40 questions. So, and you also got to see me dig in one of these really deep bins, which is, it's about two feet deep, and as you can tell, I'm not going all the way to the bottom. So, that is one of the detractants of my current situation, that I have to have all of my worms put into deep containers like this until I can find my nemesis. But, uh, it is what it is. And this too shall pass. All right. Well, if you like this video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and my 40 questions. And everybody, have a great day.